Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be looking at Counter-Strike Global Offensive as requested, running natively on Ubuntu against running it in Wine on Ubuntu. Same hardware, same system, FPS Max is set to 1000, so we're not capped at 300, and I'm using the latest NVIDIA driver, which is 349.12 at the time of this video. So let's go ahead and see how it plays out in this scenario. Alright, starting the test right off the bat, we're only going with one mode this time. We're going straight maximum settings from the get-go. So on the left is the native version and on the right is the wine version running on 1.7.39 with CSMT enabled. Now I'm only going with the maximum settings here because that's really all that matters. If we can get high frames in native then there's no real purpose to running it in wine. The question is do we get continuous high frames? Do we run into any issues? Now since we're running the Wine version, it's not exactly running through OpenGL calls. It is making direct 3D calls, but instead of going through a 2GL layer by Valve, it's going through Wine instead. That's what we're seeing here. So right off the bat, we're getting pretty high frames for both. Surprisingly a lot more for Wine than I thought we would be getting, but it is less. Now what it looks like to me is somewhere around 60. 60, 70 frames per second difference here. Sometimes only 30 frames per second difference. But it is considerable. So if you're running this in wine, it's definitely playable now. Much more playable than it was back when it got first released. But it's definitely not up to the standards of the native version. Now when we died just now and there was the screen where it just stops for a moment there. We definitely saw it go higher in wine, but then when it's a still frame, that doesn't really matter. What matters is when you're in the action. So anything above 120 frames per second is usually overkill, although it seems that 144 hertz monitors are becoming a norm now as well. The wine version does seem to dip every once in a while below 100, but it seems both are able to go steadily above 120 for the most part. The native version is definitely very high in frames considering that I'm mixing everything out here. Yep, we're still seeing a consistently higher frame rate on the native version. Good one. It's pretty high. The, the difference here is about 60 to 70 frames per second almost consistently when we get, things get hectic. Now I'm curious to see if we have that issue of less detail in the scene. Now if you were running it in Windows, you're going to get less detail over time, which is something I noticed when running the benchmark for this Ubuntu against Windows. When you run the Linux version against the Windows version, the Windows version after some time stops remembering things. It stops remembering bullet holes, it stops remembering uh, blood splatters, while the Linux version continues to remember them throughout the match. So since we're running, running the Windows version in Wine here, I'm curious if we're going to see the same thing or not. Since Wine attempts to emulate Windows, but we're still running on a Linux backend here. So far they are relatively the same. Now I am editing this entirely in KDE and Live, so if there are any peculiarities in the video or black swipes or things like that, it's due to KDE and Live. I'm still trying to get used to it. There are some issues that I just can't overcome myself. They are inherent in KDN Live itself, so while it's a great piece of software, it's very hard to work with. Alright, we're already noticing the Windows issue we saw here, there is no blood spiders on the Wine side. So even though we're running on a Linux back end, Wine attempts to emulate Windows, and so when it runs into the Windows mode and we're doing the Direct3D9 calls on Wine, it's running into the same issue that you would run into if you were running it on Windows, which is less blood spiders and less bullet holes in the scene. So the frames seem to be plateauing now, uh, they're reaching the same, the native against the wine version for a moment there. But we also got to remember that in the Windows version of the game, less is actually in the scene. So while they were getting close to each other in frames just now, it looks like the native version is going right back up again. Really high frames per second to be totally honest. So there you have it. Summary time. So as we saw running in max settings in both situations, Wine naturally does less than native performance. So if you're one of the few people running NVIDIA hardware on Linux 
and you still think that the white version may be giving you an upper hand over the native version, that is not currently the case. Maybe in the past it was, but now it's not anymore. The native version is far and by white much better. It's even better than the Windows version at times as we've seen in the past. So that is it for this video guys. I hope it was educational or helpful in one way to another and thank you for watching.